Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Mix. I got a quickie but a very useful tutorial for you today. And this one came to me as a request. And the question was, let's say you have a material, uh, a block here in this case, and you want a hole to go through it at an angle. In this case, we've got the hole coming in at the top left and exiting at the bottom right. So if I flip this around, you can see where it exits. Uh, so it comes in at an angle, but in two directions, right? So it comes in going down this way, angle down. And if I go to a top view, it's coming in this way, uh, angled in that direction. So what's the best way to go about this in Fusion 360? Now, of course, there's always more than one way to skin a cat, but I'll show you how I would approach it. So let's begin with a new sketch we'll, or a new design. We'll click here on the little new design button, the little plus sign. We'll begin by creating a sketch on our XY plane. So let's go to sketch, create sketch, and we'll choose that XY or that red green plane. And we'll grab the two point rectangle. So sketch down to rectangle, two point rectangle. We'll begin it at the origin and drag out. Let's just make a rectangle. We'll go 80 uh, by let's say 140. Sounds good. And then I'll hit stop sketch E for extrude, select my profile. And let's extrude this up. Let's go 90 millimeters and I'll hit enter. Okay, so we have our block here. And let's say you know the exact location you want your circle um, to come in here on this side, right? You know that point of entrance and you know that exact point you want it to exit. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create another sketch on this face here and we're going to put down a point and that point is going to reference the center of our circle or our hole basically so let's go down to sketch and go to point and we'll just place it here and then we can go ahead and dimension it so i'll hit d for dimension and dimension between my point and the top edge and let's make this uh, let's do 20 millimeters Let's do the side dimension now. So I'll dimension between the point and the side edge. And let's make that uh, 29. Uh, so I'm just picking random dimensions here, but you get the idea. You have a specific dimension that you we want it to be. I'll uh, do stop sketch there. And now I'm going to rotate to the other side, uh, create a sketch on this face and I'll do the same thing I'm gonna put a point down here so let's go down to point place it here uh, quickly just to mention it from the bottom here we'll do uh, 19 millimeters and from the side I'll go ahead and do 30 sounds good okay I'll hit stop sketch and here's the key now I'm gonna create another sketch so I'll go to sketch and uh, create sketch and it really doesn't matter where I select this sketch so I'll get rid of my bodies here um, and get rid of sketches and I'll show you know I've got my planes there um, so like I said it doesn't matter you can choose any of the planes here I'll choose this uh, uh, blue green or ZY plane and let's bring make sure sketches is on okay and let's bring back our bodies um, so we can seek the reference there. So what I'm going to do is create a sketch or create a line and attach these two points. So let's actually remove the body. And the important thing here is to have 3D sketch on. So I'm going to show you if I click it off and I'm going to go ahead and choose the line tool and I try to grab it, I won't be able to. Now, um, something I want to point out, if I uh, try to put 3D sketch on, while I'm still in the line tool, it, I still won't be able uh, to reference it. It doesn't snap to it. What you have to do is escape out of the tool, uh, you know, then turn on 3D Sketch and now grab the line tool. Now it'll let me snap right into it. So I can grab my first point and then I'm going to go ahead and snap to that second point and I'll click the check mark. So there's my, there's my line. You can see it uh, going at an angle there. And if I bring the body so I can reference it, you'll see it's exactly to those two points. All right, I'm going to hit stop sketch and my sketch disappeared. So I'll make sure to turn it on. And what I'm going to do next is grab the pipe tool. So I'm going to go to create and down to pipe and I can grab the line. If you're having trouble select it, just uh, remove the body and then you can select it and turn it back on. But you'll see uh, it's 
because I have the body on, it's, it's automatically chose it as a cut. So it's going to cut that hole through. And I can set my section size here. So let's say I make this 23 millimeters in diameter. And I can click OK to cut it. But you'll see a problem here where I can't really extend this anymore. It's, and it's not going all the way through. And it kind of halfway goes through here. So what I'm going to do is instead of cut, I'm going to choose new body. Click OK. And now I've got two bodies here, uh, my block and my cylinder. So I'm just going to do a, a Boolean operation here. So let's go to Modify, Combine, and we'll now cut. Actually, before we do that, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, let's get rid of this block and let's extend uh, these uh, or the cylinder out so that it actually extends past our block. So let's get rid of these sketches because that just kind of get into and gets in the way. And I'm gonna hit Q for press pull, grab this and and just drag it out. Hit OK and Q again for this other top uh, top face here, and we'll drag that out. Click OK and I'll bring my box back in. Okay, now let's go ahead and cut it out. So I'll go to modify, go to combine. Target body is the block. My tool body is going to be my cylinder and cut. I don't want to keep the tool, so I'm not going to check this and then click OK. And there we go. There's our hole going right through exactly where we want it to start and where we want it to end. We could always go back and change that section size. So if I go to the pipe tool and say, uh, you know, instead of 23, uh, I only want like a thin rod. So let's say like 10 millimeters, click OK. You know, we can still amend that. I'm going to change it back to, let's do like 35. OK, and then you can see here it'll actually cut through the top. So um, another good point there, let's make it let's make it even bigger. Let's do like 45 and you can see it'll actually um, cut through the edges here. So, OK, I don't really like that. I like our first uh, dimension of 23. OK, so that's uh, basically how you would go about that or how I would go about it. Um, by uh, making a 3D sketch and then just using the pipe tool and then uh, uh, having it be a new body and uh, using a Boolean operation to cut it out. I mean, you also have other options where you can just create the line and do a plane on a path and draw a circle and extrude it. Um, I think this way it saves you a few steps. Okay, I'll stop this right here. If uh, you have any questions or uh, if you know of a better way to do this, uh, go ahead and leave it on the comments below. Uh, I always like to see new methods. Uh, also, some good news today. I just released a new design course. Uh, it's uh, If you recall, I did this uh, gift box back in Christmas and I did a video on how I put it together. But I, I got a lot of comments that it was just way too fast and people wanted me to slow it down and do more of a step-by-step -step tutorial. So I did that, but it's over an hour long. So I put it on my website as its own design course that you can check out where I go uh, much slower and you know step-by-step -step showing you how to design. So it's a, it's a really neat tutorial or it's actually I call it a full course, but there's a lot of tools I go through there. Um, and you know you get to practice your Fusion 360 skills, and at the end of the day, have a beautiful mo model that is practical. You know you can actually give it as a gift to someone, and they will enjoy it. All right, guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed this, and subscribe for more tutorials. Oh, I'll leave a link down below for the gift box course.